How's it going, everybody? I'm Jim Hutchison with Chauvet Professional, and I'm here with product manager extraordinaire, Mike Grant. How you doing? And this is Lighting Insights. Mike and I are here to tell you about a lighting protocol that has become very popular with large-scale production over the last five, six years. That protocol is called ArtNet. ArtNet was, has been used by large production companies for a long time to control um, several uses of several universes of DMX over one cable. Um, this is now being trickled down into production companies who are doing smaller shows but are using a lot more DMX addresses. Uh, fixtures like the Nexus 4x4, um, our Epic series and products like that that require a lot of DMX addresses are better used on ArtNet. And when you're dealing with fixtures that have 49 to 56 and greater numbers of DMX channels that the fixture needs to actually function, you'll notice when you do the math, you don't get too many of those in a DMX universe of 512 channels. No, exactly. So using ArtNet allows you to be able to um, better utilize your channel sources, also be able to better, better utilize your fixture. Uh, for example, our Color Dash Batten Hex 8 uses 96 channels per strip. Um, and that's if you want to use it fully blown out to get all the functionality out of it. The best way to turn around and use that is by using ArtNet. A common misconception about ArtNet is that it is its own separate lighting data protocol, which just simply is not true. DMX 512 allows you to have 512 bits of data along one single DMX cable where ArtNet allows you to have multiple DMX universes or multiple groupings of 512 data bits on one single cable. Because you can use one single data cable going out to your rig, it allows you to use what's called an ArtNet node. What that node does is it translates ArtNet information into usable DMX for your fixtures. Um, you can address these ArtNet nodes for any universe you want them to be. Because ArtNet can, con can control up to 256 universes of DMX, uh, you can distribute data throughout your entire rig with no worries of overlap. Now everyone in the industry knows how to use DMX 512. One simple cable, plugs into the back of your console where there's one or two or four or maybe as much as eight individual DMX universe ports on the back of the desk. ArtNet is really no different. All we are doing with ArtNet is distributing that eight DMX universes or two or four or even one across one single cable. The advantage of using ArtNet in that situation for a corporate guy or for a one-off show is the fact that now you only have to, having to run one cable backstage and maybe you run a spare with it. Um, it keeps your runs a lot cleaner and a lot more easy to manage. You also have less points of possible failure. Uh, you don't have to worry about having you know eight lines running backstage or more from the lighting desk and having possibly having one getting tripped over or one getting caught in the rug or whatever. It just makes it a lot easier uh, and a lot more um, user friendly. A lot more user friendly. Another great advantage of ArtNet is just actual cost of implementation. Um, if you think about what it costs to implement one universe of DMX, you have a bunch of cable, you have opto splitters, um, and you have termination. It's all very, very important to DMX. Uh, if you compare that cost to what it costs to run 256 universes of ArtNet, the costs are completely different. ArtNet is a lot less expensive and you can use off-the-shelf stuff that you can buy at, at any computer store to run your ArtNet universes. And I think the funny thing is, is that the computer industry as a whole is considerably larger than the entertainment technology industry. So we really have a large variety of relatively inexpensive gear to do professional quality shows to choose from. From Chauvet Professional, I'm Jim Hutchison. I'm Mike Graham. And this is Lighting Insights. Keep checking the website for new episodes, and we'll see you next time.